According to him, he knew that an kind of a falling object falling on the north at a first down turning clockwise. South of the equator, the falling object was down turning anti-clockwise. But on the line of the of the equator, the falling object was down straight without no falling at all. To prove that, here are apparatus. A ball with a hole at the center. The water in the jug acts as a falling object. Then I have a mastic to serve as an indicator to clearly see the motion of the water on either side. We start by going a short distance north, then south, we end up here for the final part of the experiment. You okay? So, you please sort of come for the first part of the experiment. That's a short distance on the north. North hemisphere. This is enough distance north of the equator. I start by pouring the water into the bowl, first stopping the water from flowing down. Then after you give the water a short and settle, then you let the water drain down. At the moment the water is a falling object north of the equator. And here the water drains start springing falling. But since the motion of the water cannot be clear seen from below, I place the indicator on the surface of the water. This is how according to Coriolis, the falling object falls on the north. And mind you this clockwise motion differs for distance. Further you go to the north, it will be clockwise but more more faster. Further to the north, the faster the motion. Also tornadoes north of the equator, tornadoes used to blow with the same clockwise motion. This is clockwise. Yeah, this is north, clockwise motion. Yeah. So we proceed down south, first second part of the motion process. Let's proceed to the south. Equator right up north, after that, don't don't charge any crop. So here we are on the south, almost the same distance. We do the same. Then after. You give the water a short time settle, then you let the water drain down. We see the motion clearly from the surface. After the indicator too. <coughs> Counterclockwise motion, this time on the south. Also the clay beam plants out of the equator, they go coiling the same and clockwise motion. And on the north, they go coiling the cl uh, clockwise motion. Further to the south, the increase in motion. The whole of the effect is known as the Coriolis effect. So we do it finally exactly on the line of zero degrees at the equator. So here we are on the line of zero degrees, 2,265 meters above sea level. Then after you give the water a short and settle, then you let the water drain down. Here the water drain starts straight without occurring at all. But clearly, I press the indicator too. It's not moving. There are no motion, either clockwise or counterclockwise. As well as the water is draining down straight. That's how they prove that we are on the line of the equator. Thank you very much for your attention. Normally after, we have the certificate. Certificate by yes, later, but we will be patient in general, the like, shop or sitting.